Hello my dear viewers, welcome to AI Medical School. In this video we are going to discuss about Phentominidrion which is vitamin K1. But before I start the video, if you are new to my channel, please subscribe to it and hit the thumbs up. Let's get started. Phentominidrion or vitamin K1 is a synthetic compound that is chemically indistinguishable from naturally occurring vitamin K1. Vitamin K is found in both plant and animal sources and is also produced by the intestinal bacteria. However, vitamin K from these different sources is not identically. Phentaminodion is found in plant and is the only natural vitamin K available for the therapeutic use. Menaconius vitamin K2 are a series of the compound that can be synthesized by bacteria. Vitamin K is an initially cofactor in hepatic synthesis of prothrombin and other blood clotting factors. Vitamin K decreases the effect of oral anticoagulants and is used to counteract excessive effects of these drugs. Now come to its indications. Phentaminodion is primarily indicated in the condition like hemorrhage, hemorrhagic disease of newborn and hypoprothrombinemia. And its contraindication, Phentaminodion is contraindicated in the condition like hypersensitivity to any compound of product. Its side effects are the sign and symptoms that are produced after the acute overdosage of Phentaminodion including hyperbilubinemia, joinders, and hemolytic anemia. The symptomatic adverse reactions produced by Phentaminodion are more or less tolerable and if they become severe, they can be treated symptomatically. In these include sweating, flushing, and kinosis. And warnings are, Phentaminodion should be used as directed during pregnancy or lactation. It should be used with caution in patients with any pre-exiting blood disorder or allergies. High-risk groups are Drugs should not be given to pregnant mothers, patients suffering from kidney dysfunction, and patients suffering from liver malfunction. If prescribing authority justified the benefits of the drug against the possible damages, he or she should reevaluate them and consult the reference material and previous studies. Now come to its dosage. Adult dose 10 to 20 mg. Frequency is recommended. Root is oral. IV. IM. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you guys like the video. So please subscribe to the channel and hit the thumbs up.